Welcome to the Henry Ford module for the Modern Entrepreneur Success Story Series. By the end of this module, you will learn a brief biography of Henry Ford and identify how he took his first steps towards success. Learn some curious facts about Henry Ford. Understand how he initiated the assembly line revolution. Learn from some of his inspiring thoughts and from his success. What do you know about Henry Ford? Let's go through the key highlights of his life. Henry Ford was born on July 30, 1863, in Michigan, USA. In 1879, at the age of 16, he left home to take an apprenticeship as a machinist in Detroit. Ford later married Clara Alla Bryant in 1888 and briefly returned to farming to support his wife and son. Then, in 1891, he was hired as an engineer for the Edison Illuminating Company. Two years later, his natural talents earned him a promotion to chief engineer. Soon after 1896, Henry Ford developed his plans for a horseless carriage and constructed his first model, the Ford Quadricycle. Henry Ford established the Ford Motor Company in 1903. The company launched the Model T in October 1908. On December 1st in 1913, Henry Ford revolutionized the industry by installing the first moving assembly line for the mass production of an entire automobile. In 1918, 10 years after its introduction into the market, half of all cars in America were Model Ts. Henry Ford died of a cerebral hemorrhage on April 7, 1947, at the age of 83. When Ford was 13 years old, his father gifted him a pocket watch which the young boy promptly took apart and reassembled. Friends and neighbors were impressed and requested that he fix their timepieces too. This just shows that a curious mind is the best tool to constantly keep learning and innovating. We are all naturally curious when we are young, but somehow most lose this gift as they grow. Henry Ford's curious nature led him to learn something new, and that's how he took his first steps toward success. Reassembling and fixing watches was the first step in his entrepreneur journey. Are you curious to know what happened next? The Quadricycle Ford was very hardworking and determined. He teamed up with a group of friends and built a self-propelling vehicle, the Quadricycle. With four wired wheels that looked like heavy bicycle wheels, it could be steered with a tiller like a boat and had only two forward speeds with no reverse mechanism. The Model T. The company launched the Model T in October 1908. The vehicle had a steering wheel on the left, an idea that other automobile companies soon copied. The model proved to be highly successful as it was not only affordable but also very simple to drive and easy and cheap to repair. The Assembly Line. Henry Ford was the founder of the Ford Motor Company, which revolutionized the automobile industry in the world. Under Ford's leadership, the company introduced methods for large-scale manufacturing of cars and large-scale management of an industrial workforce using specialized techniques. Today, it is the second-largest U.S.-based automaker. Here are some curious facts to give you more of a glimpse into the man that was Henry Ford. He was inspired by Edison to build cars. In 1896, Ford had a meeting with Thomas Edison where Edison approved of his automobile experimentation. In a newspaper interview, when asked about his success, he stated, Somewhere is a mastermind sending brainwave messages to us. There is a great spirit. I never did anything by my own volition. I was pushed by invisible forces within and without me. Ford also founded the Ford Airline Company during World War I due to his interest in the aviation industry. Ford has 161 unique patents in his name. He was fascinated by science and inventions in particular, and he never stopped being a scientist. Ford attempted to build a city in the middle of the Amazon, but got defeated in his efforts. It was called Fordlandia, and the town is still empty to this day.
On December 1st in 1913, Henry Ford revolutionized the industry by installing the first moving assembly line for the mass production of an entire automobile. His innovation reduced the time it took to build a car from more than 12 hours to 2 hours and 30 minutes. In February 1914, he added a mechanized belt that chugged along at a speed of 6 feet per minute. Before the Industrial Revolution, most manufactured products were made individually by hand. A single craftsman or a team of craftsmen would create each part of a product. They would use their skills and tools such as files and knives to create the individual parts. They would then assemble them into the final product, making cut and try changes in the parts until they fit and could work together. What were the main impacts of the assembly line that revolutionized the industry? Standardization led to lower costs, higher quality, and more reliable products. The specialization of the assembly line meant that Ford no longer had to use craftsmen and could instead hire low-skilled workers and teach them a few simple steps. Most critically, the assembly line cut the amount of time it took to assemble a Model T from 12 hours to just 90 minutes. Higher productivity means more profit, some of which is often returned to workers through higher wages. But the monotonous work led to high turnover, leading Ford to double the minimum wage in order to keep his line humming. Workers then have more money to buy products, creating what economists call a virtuous cycle of growth. Despite the higher labor costs, Ford's efficiencies allowed him to eventually lower the price of the Model T from its introductory rate of $850 to $260. It's worth analyzing some great quotes from great thinkers like Henry Ford. You can't build a reputation on what you are going to do. This quote shows that Henry Ford prioritized doing instead of mere planning. That is, planning and dreaming big is good, but it will not yield results until you work on building your ideas and making them alive. Failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. All leaders emphasize the need to learn from failures. Henry Ford also has the same message. That is, you should learn from failure and start over, but while keeping in mind that you've learned from failing. One of his great surprises is to find he can do what he was afraid he couldn't do. This quote tells us that we should not let fear dictate our actions and should always strive to break our own barriers because when we do, most of us find that we were capable of achieving great heights that we never thought possible. It has been my observation that most people get ahead during the time that others waste. We all know that losers procrastinate and winners take action. Henry Ford believed that in your spare time, instead of wasting it, you should work towards your goals and enhance your skills. Being an entrepreneur is a never-ending journey, and only perseverance will make you successful. Every moment in every action should be well spent if you want to achieve something in life. Quality means doing it right when no one is looking. This quote is a gem from Henry Ford, as it speaks of integrity and the complacent attitude that one can develop if they are not held accountable for their actions. It's stressing the need to be motivated about doing the right thing and prioritizing quality during each and every task. Here are a few lessons we can learn from Henry Ford's journey. You've probably heard the first one often, but that is because it's true. You should never stop trying, as big success can come after several attempts and it can come late in your career. In addition, note that innovation is a never-ending journey. Make a note of how Henry Ford kept on working on his ideas until he made affordable cars and innovated with the assembly line. His innovations were incremental, that is, they were improved versions of his earlier products. The assembly line developed by Ford was an extremely streamlined process with very less or no redundancies. Think of this point when you are developing your own processes or planning your next big project. Congratulations! You have completed the Henry Ford module from the Modern Entrepreneur Success Stories series. Be sure to check out the other modules in the series.